So, All right, what's the what's the issue? Um, you know Jack Cortez? Yeah. So he's got a case coming up. Are you gonna? Do you know if you're gonna be on it? Cause we kind of want to talk about it. Uh, but if we're gonna conflict, then we should probably just buzz off, no? Um. Hmm. Jack Jack does have a case coming up. I am aware uh, of some of the basics of it, as I have already been the person signing the warrants and such. Uh, I mean, what would you want to ask about it? You could ask me general questions without getting into, like, specifics. Um, okay, well, I can talk about what happened with me a little bit. So... When I got convicted of terrorism, right? Right. A doctor, a doctor was provoking uh, Appy Turk, and was purposely trying to get him okay. to cause violence, right? Like that was the whole case, and that was the truth, right? I'm convicted, whatever. Like I, I'm telling you the truth. He was doing it on purpose, and he wasn't even signed in, and clocked into work before provoking and and trying to get Turk to like you know do something gang related, right? And so what he did was he provoked tw uh, Turk on Twitter, and then when Turk said he was going to pull up, he signed in on purpose and, like, baited him into terrorism, right? And obviously we walked into it, we got what we deserved, sure, so be it. But Murphy's whole point of that in that case was that doctors shouldn't have this wall they can put up and be able to just bait people into getting terrorism just for fucking, just if they so please, because it can spiral into a whole big thing. And he said that because of this case, it'll surely and slowly turn into a big thing. So, what do you think about that? Just the idea of someone being able to beat uh, someone into terrorism. So, I've put some limits on it. I mean, there was the case that your uh, your fellows had with uh, was it Pluto and Kevin, where the officers were trying to charge them with terrorism, where there was a failed boost or something. There's a shootout that happened around the gas station here. Uh, cops admitted that the cops scaled the uh, the medical building. We're on top of the hospital shooting over here and onto your you know building. And then Pluto and Kevin went to like siege the hospital roof and the cops trying to push terrorism. And I said, well, that doesn't make sense because if the cops are the ones shooting from the hospital roof in the first place, then they are the ones compromising the medical neutrality, not the people who come in the second place. Right. So I and I dismissed that and I, I dropped those charges. So I've already put limits on it. My thing is though, um, when we talk about baiting, it's difficult because take this out of the hospital, right, and take this away from all that, and let's just let's just say you and I are hanging out, right? Okay. And let's say Jack comes up, and I start telling Jack, "Man, I love cookies. I'd love to eat a cookie. You know, fucking." cookies are delicious and you know man i would just murder a cookie right now if i had one in front of me like you know just talking all kinds of crazy shit right if jack then goes and and tries to stab me or shoot me over words you know uh, it's not really a defense to murder to say that he's a uh, you know that he was baited right what it does is it might transition it from first degree murder to second degree murder Right? So it becomes like heat of the moment as opposed to like a planned killing. And second degree murder has vastly less punishment. Right. Now, to your point, um, if someone were to bait terrorism, uh, that would be pretty tough to deal with because it's not like there's a second degree terrorist. So, you know, if someone uh, does that and they get convicted of it, then, you know, what I would tell you is I think that things like that, the whole baiting aspect, that might mitigate or lessen a punishment. I don't think it would be possible for that to make someone not guilty because otherwise we'd be opening up a can of worms that says, if someone says the wrong words to you, you're able to shoot them and it's legal. Well, it's it's not necessarily about being legal or, Ill or illegal, right? It's a case of terrorism. Terrorism is a pretty crazy thing, don't you think? I agree. And, um, I, and there's, I feel like there's a lot of there's a lot of circumstantial things, right? Like a hospitals in the south side, and it's surrounded by multiple gangs. Like I feel like 
to to um put on the same limitations as the limitations were before in comparison to it being at pillbox or let's say uh wherever the fuck over there it's it's almost like i don't want to say unreasonable but i feel like there's different factors and these factors are changing and they should at least be taken to some account i agree which is why i think the uh you know, the sentence can be mitigated, but I don't know if we can change the crime itself. And and I'll go back to the Senate and I'll ask again, but I'll be honest with you. Um, it, it's possible things may have changed now because... Uh, look, I, I don't want to get too fucking far into it, but you get what I'm saying. Things have changed from the last time I asked. Do you understand that? Yeah. Because the person I'm asking is different. Yeah. So it may be that, you know, the decision is different now. And it may be that, you know, um, I can separate hospital terrorism and terrorism into two separate charges, which is what I wanted to do like a year ago. Uh, I was told yeah. no at that time, and I was told that it's going to stay the way it is. Um, but given that we have so many examples now of people sort of, as you said, baiting the terrorism charge in the hospital, especially when those people are doctors, um, you know, maybe that might make more of a consideration. I don't know. I can talk to the senators and ask them. Um, and given that, you know, the staffing in the Senate has changed a little bit, there might be a different response. Um, but in terms of, you know, in terms of that, I, I don't really know if that does anything for Jack, because do you know what ex post facto means? You ever heard that? Say that, say that again one more time. Ex post facto, you ever heard that? No. It's just a it's a fancy term that basically means um, that it, you can't go back in time and change what the laws were at the time a crime was committed. It's only you change the laws and then anything moving forward applies under that. Oh, okay. That makes sense. So it's, for example, if I were to say that, you know, uh, pants that don't go all the way down to your shoes were illegal because exposing your ankles is illegal. I couldn't make a new law and then charge you because I saw you here today wearing pants that don't go down to your ankles. You know what I mean? Yeah, that makes sense. And the other way around is if I changed the hospital terrorism laws to split them, that wouldn't apply to Jack because when he committed the crime, it was still under the old law. So I, I'm, well, I'm is open it, and is willing it, to consider that as a proposal to Senate, but I don't know if it would change anything for Jack. Is it, um, is it based off of when the crime was committed or when they're tried for it? When the crime was committed. Okay. Well, I think regardless of Jack's situation, I think personally that a change would be good regardless of Jack. Obviously, I care for Jack, but I mean, I've seen this happen to me I've se and now I'm seeing stuff happen to Jack. Like, I think I agree. change, change I, I, is good regardless of whether it can help Jack or not. Yeah, I, I mean, I agree. I think uh, regardless of whether the hospital part of it, I mean, at the end of the day, Jack got baited into shooting somebody in the head because they talked about eating cookies. I mean, you know, I, and as, as much as I understand that Jack is who he is and he has his, uh, you know, proclivities and his, you know, personality work. At the end of the day, um, he made that decision, right? So it's it's pretty tough. Um, like I said, there is mitigation in sentencing because, you know, we do look at the nature of how it developed. And if the doctors and according to the witness statements, other people are there egging on Jack, I, I can understand there might be some way to look at it. Uh, right. Overall, I do agree with you. Overall, I think um, the hospital terrorism thing is getting, I, I won't say abused, but I think that um, both doctors and police are far too easily inclined to lean on it as a backdrop for actions that would otherwise be uh, looked down upon by them. Right. So I hear you on that. I don't disagree. 